Expo 65 is the best Yonex train out currently, and it's not even close. Here's why. Welcome to Badminton Rants episode 4. Today we'll be talking about why x 65 is the GOAT of Yonex strings. If you've been here for any amount of time, you've probably seen me recommend basically x 65 for any string question in the comments or in the lives. And if you're new here, hello, my name is Nigel. I make badminton content out of the Philippines. Consider following if you like my stuff. So moving on to why x 65 is such a great string. If we look at like what Yonex rates this string as, right? It rates it really high in repulsion and control and everything else is like pretty good as well. Now granted, Yonex's um, rating system is very inaccurate and some of them are like 11 out of 10 and like they don't really compare well. But you can kind of see that Yonex is marketing this string as a repulsion and control string down what repulsion and control are just in case you guys don't know so repulsion is basically the property of how fast the shuttlecock actually bounces off the string so repulsion is usually what you want when you're into drives into really quick actions right when the shuttle doesn't spend that much time on the strings and you're looking for it to go as fast as possible right and of course control is control right placement as well as spin right how tight can you place your shots can they tumble right how well are they on the lines, right? So this is what um, Yonex means by control. So again, going back to Yonex's ratings, right? We can see that it rank, it's rating Expo 65 a 10 out of 10 for both, meaning that this is probably a very repulsive string as well as having a good amount of control. And in my experience, this is pretty true, right? You get the repulsion because it is coming from that X-Bolt series of strings. And we can explain why in a bit why X-Bolt series strings are quite repulsive. But because it has that elasticity outer, um, it also is a bit more medium soft feeling. So it's a bit more forgiving to miss hits and just generally easier to use compared to harder strings. And of course, it has that shuttle hold for the control as well. I had to scroll a few years to get back to this. I didn't realize Expo 65 came out in 2022. But as you, you can see, even in the title, right? Yonex is basically describing this as an all-around string, right? Repulsion, control, and durability, right? So what I was saying earlier about forged fiber, which we saw from Expo 63, right? This is going to help with the, the strength of the string in general, right? And then they make it even more durable, by adding that elasticity outer, which also helps with, right, control, right? To increase overall control, the new coding was added for increased shuttle hold, making the new Expo 65 a triple threat, right? The result is a combination of quick repulsion, durability, and control, right? So obviously, yes, because there's an extra coding, you're not going to have as much ex or repulsion as just bare forged fiber as the Expo 63, right? But I feel like the minimal loss in repulsion for the increase of control and durability really just just makes this like such a good like string. Like really, if you haven't tried Expo 65, you really got to. And I know people are going to ask like, well, what about Expo 63, right? Compa can you compare with Expo 63, right? So the reason why I um, prefer 65 over 63 is because 63 is just very about drives, right? That drives is very good but you can struggle with timing when it comes to drops and smashes, right? And also, right, you're losing that control in the front because it is so repulsive. The shuttle just wants to fly off um, the strings when you're using Expo 63. And you can even see in their marketing, right, they're all just focusing about the, the drive, right? The, the Expo 63 provides exhilarating sounds of impact, right? And its repulsion will deliver your drive seven centimeters deeper, right? There's talk about forged fiber, sure, for durability, but there is no talk about control, right? Which is why, again, I feel like you can easily recommend x 65 to just about anyone from their current strings, and they will, like, appreciate it. So what are the times I would not recommend x 65, right? So if you are very aware of what you want out of a string, like, for example, if you want something that's just durability, right, then I would probably suggest something like, Nano G95, but even so, I still think there's a better option. I feel like Xbolt 65 is better than Nano G95 because Nano G95 tries to be like a durability and repulsion string as well, um, but as you can see, no control. So I still think Xbolt 65 is better. Um, moving on, right? Uh, really, the really only option is, of course, BG65 and BG65 Ti. And of course, right? You guys know how much I hate that rack or that string. 
because it's awful. But if really you're like, yes, I'm aware that this string plays well, plays horribly, but it lasts forever and I'm okay with it, then I'll be like, okay, I can respect that decision, right? The only other time I would suggest something besides Expo 65 and it's not durability is, of course, if you want like maximum control and, and, and performance and you don't really care about durability, right? And in that case, I would probably suggest something like Airbyte Boost, right? A hybrid string where there's coming with two sets of strings, right? You have um, 0.61s and 0.72s, right? So you're going to have lots of repulsion from the thin 0.61 gauge, and then you're going to have lots of spin because of the big, um, thick differentiation, right? But you're not going to have any durability, right? So, and if you're okay with that trade off as well, then Airbyte Boost or Airbyte might be also a good string combination for you. So yeah, if you're looking for something right that works eight eight times out of ten, nine times out of ten for most people, at like all play styles at all tensions, right? Really, go try Expo 65. If you haven't, we sell it at Rally Sports for 550. Um, I would be a bad ambassador if I didn't mention that. Please don't buy it from Toby or Chris for a thousand pesos. You can literally buy two for the price of one at Rally Sports, right? So yeah, please go try out Expo 65. Comment down below if you have already. Let me know what you guys think. Um, a few people have already said, right, they swapped from BG65 to Expo 65. And it really does make a day and night difference, guys. It really does, right? So yeah, enjoy. Bye. See ya.